If you don't do that, it's your fault because you are lazy. Because nobody, no, nobody keeps you in bed. It's just your fault. Just wake up and do what you have to do for you and for your family because it's for all of you. To learn from defeats, okay, to take them as teachings. I really teach Taekwondo. I don't play. I should be the example. Yesterday, I trained two hours. It was Saturday after my job. Actually, I am a director in a post office, so every day I start at 8 o'clock and normally I go to train at half past 6 for an hour before going to the office, so for me it's quite normal. I wake up, I have my shower, I go out, I train and then I go to the office. <laughs> yeah, but it's normal because you made it normal, because you don't have to train in the morning. You could just go to office, you could just go with your eyes like this, like... Ugh. Yeah, well, it depends because I know if I don't train um, at half past six, probably there will be some problems during the day and I don't train because of these problems. So mm -hmm. if I do it before, I am okay. And then maybe yeah. I can do the second one, you know, during my day. But yeah. at least I did my first training, <laughs> you oh know, so I'm God. sure I did, I did what I had to do. <laughs> oh my God. This is... <laughs> This is so cool. Could you tell me a bit what is Taekwondo for people who don't know? Well, if he, I mean, my kind of Taekwondo, because there are many, okay? My kind of Taekwondo, it's like, it, it, it was called Korean Karate, okay? Mm. Because it's quite similar. I mean, they started, when, when, when Taekwondo started, it was quite similar to Karate in those, in those years. Then it changed a lot the Olympic one today but my style is more or less always the same as it was mm. in the beginning so imagine in Meijin Karate but uh, with different forms and more kicking more flying kicks okay mm -hmm. a lot of flying mm. kicking all the time you know but also punches a lot of blocks and punches people yeah. normally think there are no punches in Taekwondo and actually in the nowadays fighting there are very few, but in my, my kind of Taekwondo, there are a lot, and we we still break bricks, boards, as it were in the beginning. So we use a lot our hands, okay, with like this knife hand punch, you know, reverse knife knife hands. Yeah, but do you, do you do you fight with other people as well, or is it just mostly mostly you with the? I mean, it's just training with yourself basically. Well, you practice, um, I, I, we call it classic Taekwondo, okay? You you practice classic Taekwondo for yourself, more for yourself, but there is the fighting, you fight, mm -hmm. but you don't hit because we don't use, you know, gloves, we don't use anything. Yeah. So you don't hit strong. It depends on your, on your, on your partner if you want to hit a little bit. You know, it depends how much do you know each other, you know? Yeah. If you want to, to hit a little bit here on the body, but not, not never the face, okay? You yeah. have to control, control punch, punches and, and kicks, okay, on the face, yeah. so no, no blood, okay? Because yeah, I know, <laughs> I know that the the Olympic Taekwondo, like they they fight with each other, like yes. that's the. Yes. They have KO, but but they have a lot of, you know, some kind of uh, protection. And... Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It was. It, yeah. It's always fascinating. I I love watching Taekwondo, and I even was thinking about uh, starting but uh, of course the one with the fighting because i didn't really know about the traditional one and uh but i i maybe, saw maybe something like more something like capoeira so they don't touch themselves yeah. they, they, they just they just go closer okay close to the face of the body yeah. but they don't yeah, yeah. hit okay it's different yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh yeah it's like a, a discipline as you said with yourself basically yeah. And it's hard because you don't have, I mean, you have to be fast, okay? Yeah. Strong, but not destroy everything, okay? Of course, <laughs> it's hard. I, I see, like, I saw a lot of your videos, like, I just looked in your, your photos, like, it looks absolutely insane. And how, I don't, I don't know, are those bricks real? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. How can real. you break six, seven bricks with one hit? 
Yeah, well, six is my is my 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 maximum. Seven, never. I, I mean, I never tried. Yeah, <laughs> still well, maybe you should after this. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, they are they are true. The only difference could be if you put some irons between mm -hmm. the bricks, so there is some space, you know, mm -hmm. or, or if you don't put them. And another difference could be if you put a board on the first brick, so for your mind, you are hitting the board. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Without the board, and you only see the brick, that is different for your mind. Hitting directly a brick, it's different. I mean, it's always the brick, you know. You yes. break the brick, but with a board on it, mentally it's different. You hit stronger. <laughs> I find this very fascinating. So what is the involvement of the mind in all this? You don't have to be afraid. You have to trust your technique. You have to trust yourself. You have to think you can do that, okay? Because if you think you can't do that, you're right. You know, yeah. you have to think, think you are you are strong enough to do that. Imagine the brick broken before you do it and then do it. So no hesitations. So hit. Wow. So as, <laughs> hit as much and as... go for your goal. So as much as it's a, a physical training, is also mental training. Yes, yes, yes. That's the most important part. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the part you use in your life. You don't use, you don't break bricks, <laughs> okay, yeah. on, your, on your way home or going to work, but you use that mm. that power of your mind to to reach your goals in your life. Oh, that's that's amazing. What do you what do you think it uh, now that since you were talking about this, what do you think it, you can take from Taekwondo and from martial arts to use in your day-to-day -day life? I mean, in my, in my opinion, you learn to never quit. You learn to, to learn from defeats, okay? To take them as teachings, okay? Mm. And, and then think, uh, what did you do wrong and correct that part? and do it better because if you know you can do something better then do it better okay mm. that that's that's what what you can learn mm. okay some i mean you can learn many many things okay discipline you can learn uh which are your physical limits you know but you can learn those kind of things in many sports this is a martial arts you learn a way yeah you know a way until until the end of your days i mean uh joking i always tell my students my little students they, I mean, school is important, but school one day will finish when you are 35, if you are a doctor, okay? Taekwondo never ends. <laughs> Taekwondo is forever. So yeah. you, you have to be here on those two, three days a week. I mean, we just train two or three hours uh, every week. I mean, th mm. two or three hours on 168 hours a week, yeah. okay? Because a week has 168 eight hours so it's nothing i mean they must be at taekwondo school and then they must rain outside also because if you want if they want to be better they need time okay yeah. they need more hours during the week yeah how long train. have you been doing this 35 years this year yeah i was five Thir i'm 40 this year so 35 yeah my whole life oh more my or less god. oh my god and do you think you will you will do it for the rest of your life? I hope so. I hope so. That that's my goal. It looks like and it looks like you're so how to say your your body is so athletic and you have muscles and still you're so flexible. Like I've never seen that level of flexibility in my life. Like live I've never seen it. I've seen some people on the internet doing that but like I don't know how you can spread those legs like even more than uh, than uh how to say 180 degrees? I I don't I don't get it. <laughs> well, I started when I was five, so and, and and I started alone. I mean, obviously in those years I was mesmerized by Bruce Lee. Okay, I watched the movie Fist of Fury and I told to myself, okay, I wanna be like Bruce Lee. Okay, so I started and I started with kung fu, mm. but the school that time wasn't that hard okay and i wanted a real hard school so i changed into karate and then i reached my black belt in karate and 
and then I and then I changed to Taekwondo because there was too much competing in karate, mm -hmm. and I wanted to learn all, okay, all a, a real martial art without without competing. Because when you compete, you are okay, you are good in your best kick and your best punch, but not all the style. Mm -hmm. I wanted that style without competition, so you could uh, focus on all the parts, okay, mm. of, of the martial art. So I I started to do stretching along always more, always more, always more, because normally during a normal class, you just have an hour and you can't stay one hour and split. So yeah. I did it on my own, okay? A lot of hours of stretching every day since I was a child. And when I was 12, I started also with... Uh, let's call it bodybuilding, okay, but I mean, fitness, yeah. okay. So I I grew up doing those things all together, stretching and, 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 and muscles, okay, together, together. So until yeah. today, I mean, when, I, when we finish here, I will go to the gym, I will train my legs, and then I will do one hour stretching after my, my legs training. So always together. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, did someone take you to to Taekwondo or to Kung Fu? You just wanted to from from your own will. My own will. I mean, at, at the beginning, because of Bruce Lee, as I told at you, five and years old. Yes, yes, yes. Oh but those God. were really great times. If you think about it, about it, we had. Uh, I mean, more or less, you have. You are my age. How old are you? No way. I'm twenty four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Don't okay, have to apologize. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> but at this time, we had Bruce Lee, we had Van Damme, we had Chuck Norris, we had Ninja Turtles, we had mm. Power Rangers. There were martial arts everywhere, yeah. everywhere. So you had to to see some martial arts somewhere. Nowadays, it's more difficult for children to to see. I don't know. <laughs> Goku, maybe Dragon Ball, something like that, mm -hmm. and then decide to, 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 to practice a martial art. There, there's nothing like that. I mean, there were martial arts everywhere. There were Don Wilson. Yeah. A lot of famous people, Steven Seagal. I mean, where are they nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it, it was easier to start yeah. martial art. Yeah, and that's true. the most difficult mm -hmm. part for me when I teach to children because they come to Taekwondo just because maybe their parents Mm, tell them okay let's try this new thing and they come to me and they actually don't know what they are going to do and why am i so strict you know why why, why this man shouts at me <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. why do i have to learn the numbers in korean you know they they don't know what they are going to do it's like tennis for them or soccer you know, they try yeah, yeah. they try and maybe they like it and they go on with taekwondo their own life mm. Hmm. Yeah, actually, actually, you're right because in the also in my childhood there was a lot of martial arts still in the movies, in the uh, cartoons. But uh, actually, it's true nowadays there is there is not so much, and if it is, it's very it's a very distorted version that will not really um, how to say give you the desire to practice martial arts because it's so distorted that is not it's not something that exists. You know, There's like no all inputs. these. There are no inputs. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so fascinating. That's maybe fascinating. this will change one day. Maybe there will be a new Bruce Lee. Who knows? One day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure. <laughs> how you said that you were you are teaching children? How important is it for for children to to learn martial arts? And what is the right mindset? You know, to to take in this because many, probably many children are are there for you know to show off to their friends or to be tough or what's the right mindset well normally during children classes i really teach taekwondo i don't play okay so i try to do it uh, like you know doing a lot of push-ups a lot of abs but smiling you know make, make them smile Mm -hmm. But we really, we really train hard. So I, I try to teach them that if they want to reach their goals in their life, they have to do things really seriously because things 
uh, don't come easy. Okay, so you you just you, you have to put commitment in something. Mm -hmm. So that that's I think the the most important lesson they can, they can learn from from martial arts mm -hmm. because they see uh, their body change. They see they can reach the splits, for example. Also also the male. I mean not mm -hmm. only the girls. Okay, so man, they, they all uh, one day or another can reach the, the, the full split. Okay, so yeah. I, I will show you some some pictures later if you want. I mean, they, I mean, even the new, the, the white belts. Okay, we do a lot of stretching, so they they see they they are stronger, they are more flexible. They see they are better if they really put commitment in what they are doing, and they see also that children who don't they don't reach the same goal, so they they can see the difference. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and and that's the most important class. I mean, they can. They can learn from from my from, from my classes. Then they 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 find out their their physical limits because we all have okay physical limits. Um, as, as I told you, they, they they see teachings behind the defeats. I mean, while they are fighting, sometimes I mean we don't we don't hit as I told you, but there is one of the two who are fighting who is. You see, it's better. Okay, who you see, he is winning or she is winning the fight yeah. even without, without uh, touching uh, yeah. partner. Because you see, there are many techniques, techniques, many you know. You see the power. You see, he's winning. Uh huh. So you st so you they, still kind of compete with each other in some some ways, but not like uh, not fighting and hitting each other, right? Yes. 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 And, and the I've competitions seen... is also. Let's see how fast I reach my split, or let's yeah. see how fast I learn this kind of flying kick. The splits yeah. in the air. Now we are studying the splits in the air. They are so happy. They can jump and jump and open, you know, the legs, and, and they do it oh, all the class. So they always ask me, "Can we do the splits in the air?" Yeah, sure, we can. <laughs> let's warm up before, and then we do the splits in the air. So yeah, they, they so are happy cool. to jump and, and, and kick everywhere now. <laughs> That's so cool, and it sounds like a like a very healthy type of challenge, you know. Yeah, it's not so it's not so much like I want to put you down, but it's more like okay, let's do this together and let's see who does it faster or who who reaches that first. Or, but it still sounds like it's um like they are together in a way. Yeah, and they help each other to yeah. reach the goal. I mean, there are there are no bullies. Okay, they they, they help each other to. I mean. From their point of view, okay, they are children, but they they are they they they, they teach they, they teach the other like oh well, I am doing like this let's try this to jump more and then open the the, the legs in the air I mean they they, they give some suggest you know yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's uh, I think that's that's a thing that parents should really think about to give their children to to martial arts and to learn this I think it really really helps you. In the beginning yes. of your life, it's, do, you, it's, do you think it's it's, it's a still... healthy competition? Yeah, yeah. Sounds sounds like that. Sounds very much like that. Do you think it's it's late at any time? Like I probably don't think that, but do you think it's late at any time to start? Well, there was a master called Masutatsu Oyama, the, f the founder of Kyokushin Karate, who told that you start, you start learning understanding martial arts when you are 40 40 40 to 50 years old you really start learning what martial arts are teaching us so before it's more physical when you start to be less physical okay then you understand the really teachings so i think no you can start even if you are 26 yeah i mean at 26 i was really a tiger, you know. <laughs> I can't see it's not I'm 24, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 24, okay, but even yeah, even, even better, even better. <laughs> yeah, hmm. yeah. I was, I was thinking, I was really thinking these days, these days to to start a discipline like that because I, I feel it would do good for me, you know, for my mental health, for my physical health also, and uh, yeah, I will really consider it now. Hmm. And remember to train also along, not all, not not only during the normal mm. class <laughs> yeah yeah well that's uh, that's something i'll take from you <laughs> uh good how do you how do you manage to stay disciplined like how 
like maybe now it's already your your habit but tell me a bit of the times when you were actually trying to stay committed and disciplined and maybe you had some uh, times when you didn't feel like doing it or how or how do you um, advise people to stay disciplined on something because you've been doing this for 35 years this is like a long time i've never i cannot even imagine doing something for 35 years <laughs> well it's my life you know i mean my case it's really different i think so it's i always i can't imagine valentino in another way i mean this is really my life i i, I know somehow only this you know <laughs> i mm. i need this i like i like it so it's not something i force myself to do uh, i mean today it's sunday and in one hour i will be lifting weights and then stretching i mean I, I don't know how many people would do it probably we will be like seven in all the gym maybe i will i will let you know mm -hmm. so the first important thing to do is to do to take the first step to start for people just start not thinking not overthinking just start and see what happens okay start slowly i mean not like rocky okay at the beginning just start slowly okay no no pressure and then you see in two three months it will be a habit and you will need it because you you feel you stay um, healthier when you train i mean you feel it you feel your body more you, i mean stronger more flexible you feel you are physically a better a better person and, mm -hmm. and when you don't do that i mean i had covid recently I, I i mean i was okay okay no serious problems but i trained all my covid days <laughs> all <laughs> i was here mm -hmm. okay closed here and as you as you can see maybe i have my my things over there my waist yeah, my, yeah. Well, this face and many of my videos are, are made here and I was during the quarantine and I was kicking here. So no sofa, mm -hmm. no TV, just training all the time. So it's it's something I need and I, and I like. And I know if I stop, I get worse. I can't mm -hmm. stop. If I want to be better, always better, to reach a higher level of Taekwondo, I, I need to practice and practice and practice because you understand better with practice what you are doing. Uh, I mean, it's always the same, for example, roundhouse kick, but now I understand it better than 10 years ago, how to do it, how to, to kick it better, to put more power, uh, to be more, uh, to go on a target directly. Bam, it's different because I made it so many times, you know, so many times it's, it, it's different. It, if you take, if you see a picture, it's the same, but my feelings are really different. So, and it's because I never stop. I never quit. I do it and do it always the yeah. same thing. I mean, it's not easy. Always the same thing to understand it better. It's, yeah. it's art, you know, martial yeah. art. It's really art. Yeah, exactly. you do it always the same moves. To, to, to do them always on a higher level. Mm. It, it's amazing if you think about it. <laughs> because <laughs> from, from outside, you see the same move, the same block. But exactly, my yeah. thing is, is, is I, 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 I block, but when I block, I, I destroy what, I, what I'm blocking. Okay, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. How I move, how I feel my body, and how I use my force to block. That, that kick or that punch yeah. is it's it's different <laughs> oh that uh, that sounds so so inspiring and and i see that when i when i'm watching your your videos and i see the the passion in what you do and i see the what what is behind the the strength although the strength is very much there i see you kick, i saw you i saw a video of you kicking this this dummy you know like this heavy heavy dummy and just kicking it like off the floor and that's not easy to kick it like to put it down you know because it's like heavy weights under and i saw that like doing like it's nothing like with a flying kick <laughs> what <laughs> and during the years you learn to be strong or you're stronger without using muscles yeah using just technique you know with the technique 
you can be stronger than using your muscles. Mm. If, you, if you do it, the technique really properly, you know. Yeah. You, I mean, you have to do, I mean, my master uh, teaches us that you have to, to, to do it, that technique, so many times, so many times, so many times during a training that at least you are really tired and you can't use your muscles because you have no muscles anymore in that moment. And that's the moment you learn how to really apply that mm -hmm. kick or that punch. When you, when you are forced to use the technique because you don't have your arm anymore, you don't have you know, your chest anymore, and you have to punch the same, that's the moment you really understand what you're mm -hmm. doing. Yeah, it makes it makes a lot of sense. You mentioned that your your master uh, teaches you. Who is your master? Do you still have a master? Yes, my master is great master Song Jong Ho. He li he lives in in Klagenfurt in Austria. It's like ninety minutes from here now because of COVID. I haven't seen him for two years more or less. But soon I hope I can go there and mm -hmm. and, and meet him again and and make me teach more and more and more and more lessons <laughs> you know i, I think he's a korean I... he's a korean korean man he came from korea in in, in the 70s to spread taekwondo and i i was mm. so lucky i met him and, and here i am mm. i really like this attitude and uh i'm thinking now at the at your like skill level and your experience with taekwondo taekwondo that you still look up to a person and you see it as you see him as your master like for me it's just wow you know yeah, he is such an example i mean he's actually uh, nobody knows how old is he <laughs> okay it's some some kind of secret but more or less it, he will be uh, 75 more or less and he he still go on training every day he, he he told us he, he is training uh, like 45 minutes alone every day, more the classes, okay? Mm -hmm. So just for him, 40, 45 minutes every day, he he repeats the forms and he trains uh, like push-ups and abs to stay to, to stay healthy. I mean he's really, really healthy. If you see him, you can't you can't imagine he's 70 something you 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 think he is 50 something okay it's mm -hmm. like 20 years less because it's he is so fit okay mm -hmm. so so shredded so he's he's really 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 fit <laughs> hmm. and that that's my goal also to be what healthy my whole life yeah. Yeah. yeah speaking of that what are you trying to achieve in the in the martial arts field or in your life with this or what's your What's your goal with all this? My goal is to be a young old man one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. If you know what I mean. I mean, I want to be strong. I want to be flexible. I want to. I want to stay okay even if I if I am eighty years old. I want to be yeah. healthy. That That's yeah. why I also eat uh, the best I can. I mean, less sugar. Okay, less sugar that I can. I mean. Just vegetables, fruit, yeah, meat, fish, eggs, but no, no, no sugar, no, no candies, yeah. no, you know, because no, uh, less, less alcohol just during the for, for birthdays or you know yeah. those kind of situations. But during the week, never, 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 never. So to be, to be a young old boy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. when I will be eighty. <laughs> so my goal is to stay okay, to live a healthy life. Okay, don't don't want. Don't want problems during my, my, yeah. my when I will be ninety. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I want to reach ninety. You know what I see? What I see in you that you kind of break very much the stereotype in Italy because in Italy, like the, the old people like that I've seen, I've been a bit to Italy, and I I know that the old people, most of the old people, like just become very sedentary and they don't really do exercise or they. They don't move a lot. They just stay inside. So it's like completely opposite to like, for example, in Norway, like a lot of uh, old men and old people like r look really good and they exercise and they go running every day. And it's not the same in Italy, right? No, no. Here they they become 
often lazy when they get married, when they have children, you know, when they have a full-time job, really full-time job, uh, they, they start, you know, not coming to the gym, to the, to the yeah. dojang, we call it dojang, the way, I mean, the, the, the place where you learn the way, do, way, zhang, it's the place, dojang, mm. dojo in, in karate, okay, similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. So yes, yes, but and that's what I want to to teach to people to never quit. I mean, you have to find time for yourself. You have to find time to do a good thing to yourself, a good experience, something you really need. I mean, between all the things you can quit during your your life. You are not that thing. I mean, you can't quit. Okay, you mm -hmm. can't give up because it, it's your body, it's your uh, mental balance. It, it's you. I mean, if you if you are a better person physically and mentally, you are a better person even with the other people, even yeah. during your your work, even with your children. I mean, with everybody. If you stay okay, you are okay with all the people. Mm. If you don't feel good physically or mentally. Why should you be okay in your normal life? I mean, yeah. yeah. But I think you, I think you get, you gave already the, the secret is to to stay disciplined. Like it's not about doing, um, how to say, trying to do something, but it's more like becoming that thing. Because you say it so like easily, like it's my life, like it's what I, it's what I am. So it's not something that you're trying to do. It's something that you you are. So that that way is very easy because it's your lifestyle. It's not you don't try to to push anything. You you're just doing it because that's who you are. <laughs> But how do you think we can we can reach that that mindset? Do you think it's just just finding something that you really love doing, and uh, then it just becomes easier to stay committed, or how do you think we can stay disciplined and uh, committed to something? What I teach to my students, it's that, as I told you before, if you think you can do it, or if you think you can't do it, you are right mm. in both ways. So think you can. Everything starts from, from, from your mind. It really starts from your mind. If you think you are old, you are old. If you think you, you don't have the energy to do something, well, you don't have the energy because you convince yourself you don't have the energy. Try to, to change this thing. Try to think, I can, I have the energy. I will find one hour to train before going to war because you can, okay? You don't, uh, uh, I mean, it's important to give your time to your family, okay? And so maybe, okay, don't train in the evening because you, want, because you want to stay with your children and it's amazing, okay? So try to find your time before they wake up. Before they wake up and before your wife wakes up, you have your your hour, okay, for you training to be to be fit, to stay to stay healthier. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's if you don't do that, it's your fault because you are lazy. Because nobody no, nobody keeps you in bed. It's just your fault. Just wake up and do what you have to do for you and for your family, because it's for all of you. Yeah. And so uh, I can't. Why? If you say you can't, okay, you can't, mm -hmm. but it's your fault. It's your it's your thinking. Wake up and go. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I you really want people... to be fit because I really I, I really can't stand when people say, Hey, yes, I should start training. You should start. Start, start now. Don't wait tomorrow. Let's start yeah. together now. I should yeah. start eating better. Okay, no beers tonight, no double pizza tonight. Let's start now. Let's start today to be a different pe person. Yeah. Okay, it everything starts from here. It's you. Hmm. Most of the time, okay. So when there are serious problems, okay, I can't. Of course, you know, but most but, of the time it's not nothing serious. Yeah. It's just just you don't want to do it actually because and you we use this excuse that we can't but we actually don't want to it's not i hear so many people who say no i could never do that or when i take for example when i take 
cold baths and they some someone sees me and is like I could never do that. But just do it and then you just you just did it. You go in there in 10 seconds and you you can change already your mindset that you can you can do it. See you can. I mean there are things probably we can't do just because maybe we are too tall or a lot of weight because of our muscles so maybe some moves in some sport maybe maybe we can't but if we are just speaking about stay healthy stay fit we all can okay? yeah 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 exactly hmm. uh, let me ask you something that I ask everyone on the podcast what does it mean to you to live a purposeful life To be a purposeful life for me, it's like doing doing what you love with passion, trying to give your passion and this love to everybody you meet and you think they deserve it. You know, mm. to make the other feel good as you feel good. Mm. You know what I mean? That's my I goal. Think, I think I know what my you goal mean. is to to give my passion to the others. Yeah. And teach them how they can be better in 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 that with that yeah. passion, you know. Yeah, beautiful. May, I mean maybe they can't they can't train all the hours I train but they they can be they can, they can be fitter, they can be healthier. Yeah. And they and 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 they can you know they must find out they can they must understand they can they really can we all can yeah that's my goal so i see how you how you see how you turn that to to others so it's for your purposeful life it's more about others it's first about yeah. yourself because you you mentioned that you want to do what you what you love and with passion but then you made it about the others and to give back i like that yeah, but I, I should be the example. Yesterday, I trained two hours. It was Saturday after my job. Today, mm. I will train three hours. It's Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And tomorrow, the week begins again. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. it's more training. Tomorrow, it's uh, one, two, three. It's three hours teaching, you know, tomorrow. And How many all, classes all, my whole week, I, I teach more or less two, three, four for five hours also on Friday. Mm. So you don't train during those hours, but I mean, you move, you do stretching. So it's some kind of training. Okay. And then in the end, when I, when I am really finished in the end at half past nine in the night, I train, I really train for me. Oh my God. And believe me, believe me, I'm tired <laughs> because it's I, yeah. my working day, then the teaching. Okay. Probably I I had already trained in the morning at half past six, so I train one hour one hour more. Then I go home, I have my dinner, and then I start in the morning again. Yeah. So it's here when people see this, and you give them one hundred percent, maybe they they they, they can have a twenty percent more in their life. Okay, but you yeah. should be the example because if you're not the example, like my master is for me. Uh, why why should I teach something I don't practice, something I don't do, something yeah. I don't follow, I don't believe. And why should someone follow what you say if you don't? Yeah. If you don't do yes. it yourself. Yeah. That's the real meaning of followers on Instagram. I mean, I mean people who follow your example. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Instagram. So let's not let's not forget about that. Like besides everything that you do, you manage to post every day. And every day you write something, you write something, uh, something inspiring. You you take time to to think about what you write. So it's like, I see you're very active there. I'm not that active in uh, in that. And like it's my it's my domain, let's say, uh, the online media. So really really inspiring. I would like to give some input every day somebody maybe some people can think wow oh, okay it's boring it's always the same jump the same kick the same uh famous words told by some writer you know but mm -hmm. okay maybe for you today this isn't helpful but maybe tomorrow it will be so 
okay yeah. boring or not this can help somebody yeah i i i love your instagram it's really really inspiring and i will uh, i will put i will put the link in the description so that people can find you thank um, you one more question i i want to ask you what does it what that, does it take to be a master in uh, martial arts like what how do you reach the level of master or that you can have the title of a master oh well this is a really hard question i think you you don't reach the level of master with an exam or you know papers Let, let's think about i only think about leonardo michelangelo of kind of artists we had in italy their students called them masters but actually they didn't they didn't have an exam or some paper or they they, they just were really i mean people should start calling you a master because you are teaching them something you really do properly you did do amazingly okay and not only you really can teach mm -hmm. because it's different i can do something amazing but maybe i can't teach you how to do it when you do this this thing amazingly and then you can also teach mm. okay teach to different kind of people because not everybody yeah are the same i mean we all have different different bodies so i i have i have to teach the, the split in the air to a to a kid and then to another kid maybe one kid is more flexible the other kid is less flexible but more with more power in the legs so yeah i have to find the correct point of view the correct key to teach to him and to her yeah. okay that is a master people should call you master ah, no papers that's... no exams no dance no you know it's just if you are a master or not <laughs> yeah yeah that's really beautiful that was a really beautiful answer i i didn't even prepare you for the, for this question and yet you gave me such a amazing answer that was really nice because if yeah. you don't know how to teach you are just a, an amazing athlete okay you are an athlete yeah. okay michelangelo could be amazing in what he was doing but maybe if he couldn't teach if you couldn't leave an heritage where is the master yeah. why master <laughs>